We're at the 2013 12th Annual Mate International ROV Competition, which is being held at the Weyerhaeuser King County Aquatic Center here in Federal Way, Washington, just outside of Seattle. We have 53 teams representing 18 states and 12 countries from around the world competing. Hi, my name is Fritz Starr. I'm an oceanographer at the University of Washington. One of the activities that uh, we're doing there is to install a cabled observatory on the seafloor. This year's mate missions are all designed to simulate many of the things that will have to be done by ROV during the installation and maintenance of this observatory. The mission tasks were very challenging this year. In addition to designing, building, and deploying sensors, the student ROVs had to perform maintenance on underwater structures as well as transport and install various scientific instruments. Here you see a simulated mooring platform that is anchored to the bottom of the pool with ropes and weights. For this mate mission task, the ROVs had to unplug the mooring's power cord, unlatch and open the hatch of the platform, remove an old instrument package that was used to measure ocean currents, put in a new instrument package, then close the door, relatch the hatch, and plug in the power cord. Living organisms start to grow on equipment that sits in the ocean for any length of time and can cause big problems. So another mission task was to remove the simulated biofouling organisms from the mooring platform as well as from the other underwater structures. Uh, we're here uh, as Oceanair sponsors this event. Uh, we come out to try to get uh, the name recognition and to let the, these individuals know that what they love to do as a, as a hobby, they can actually get paid for it as a career and have a long-term career in this field. At the MATE ROV competition, workforce readiness is a large focus. We want the students not only to compete in underwater missions, but be prepared to communicate what they've produced to customers. Each team is required to give an oral presentation to a panel of working professionals who represent science, exploration, government, and industry. During the presentation, team members describe the engineering behind their vehicle's design and operation. This is their opportunity to highlight any design innovations or creative solutions they came up with to solve the mission task. They can also address any safety issues. I'm the pilot and CEO of Boeing Boeing 40. Now I'm going to talk safety. <laughs> safety is our company's top priority. As we like to say, prepare and prevent. Don't repair and repent. We know if we don't take precautions, we'll have to face the repercussions of our actions. This is why during tool development sessions, we follow strict safety procedures. These include cold stove footwear, no use of power tools without mentor approval and supervision, and of course, safety glasses. Uh, the MATE ROV competition uh, really showed me what I wanted to do with my life. Before MATE, I didn't know that I wanted to do computer science. I joined my robotics team at my high school. I actually chose Jesuit because it had a MATE robotics team. Um, and uh, I started programming for my robotics team. And ever since then, I've been involved in open source software, including an open source ROV controller. And I just, I've fallen in love with robotics and computers, computer science. And I, I really want to do research with ROV uh, control systems in college. So how is this different than what you would normally learn in school? Uh, I find a lot of school, for me at least, is a lot of memorization and all that, but this is more about using all of your skills and knowledge and kind of applying them to problems. I'm going to go to a community college and study um, robotics and electronics. And did you want to do that before the competition? Um, I had some idea, but now it is very clear and certain that it's something I would really like to do. I was going between business and engineering, but after doing RV for two years, I decided to go with engineering. What um, do you plan? I plan on going to law school, actually, and being a lawyer. So why are you building ro robots if you plan to go to law school? Um, it's a problem-solving uh, skill, you know, to build a robot, a lot of troubleshooting, problem-solving which is a good asset to have going to law school, you know, critical thinking and that kind of stuff. Oh, very well. One of the things that I, I really I stress to all the kids that compete here is, number one, when things fail, guess what? That's real life. 
that happens every day. How are you going to work around it? It's not a matter of how well you, you, you go through the missions. It's not necessarily about how many points you make. It's not where you rank, first, second, or third. What is important is what have you learned? What can you do to make it just a little bit better? Last year we hired better than 200 people into the ROV field, oceaneering alone. Um, we are looking for about the same number this year and for the next foreseeable future, it'll probably be pretty close to that. The field is just expanding rapidly into different divisions and different ways that we can utilize an ROV as technology progresses. They can do more and more jobs subsea. So I don't see any, any downslope in the hiring of ROV personnel. The competition has grown from 22 teams in 2002 to more than 620 teams that were registered to compete in the regionals and the international events this year. The reason we support uh, this competition and the, the uh, activities that go on surrounding this uh, is our industry, the offshore, uh, primarily the offshore oil industry, is in dire need of uh, skilled and trained uh, people to go offshore and, and operate uh, and maintain these ROV systems. So it's, it's in our best interest to make sure we have a skilled uh, potential uh, workforce. And uh, these kids that, uh, that I've seen around here are just amazing. Uh, the, the ingenuity and the enthusiasm uh, is just, uh, just fantastic to see. Uh, also the volunteers that are associated with this, this uh, project are, are just amazing. There's some uh, folks here from, uh, from my industry as well as uh, government and Navy uh, activities and uh, everyone's pulling together to make sure this uh, is a successful event. The MATE competition is supported by the National Science Foundation, the Marine Technology Society, and hundreds of other businesses and professional organizations.